Hi, I'm Mike, and today we make a little scratch. Not this kind of scratch, but that kind of scratch on our Wyoming life. <laughs> Welcome back to Our Wyoming Life, where today we are, uh, well, we're making more food. Uh, but there's one thing that I always really like about our channel as compared to some other channels that I've seen. There's, you look at, um, people like to show you what they do, right? Right. And some people like to show you how they do it. But very rarely do you end up finding out why. And I think that's probably one of the most important things, especially with agriculture, because it does come down to feed, price of food, price of animals, price when it gets to the grocery store, all that stuff comes all the way back to the animal. And that's where lately we've been talking about this guy. This is our uh, Artsway grain mixer. And I've gotten a few emails and people say, well, why bother when you just pass the cost down to the consumer? So we're raising beef and pork and chicken on the ranch, and that all ends up in the farm store, ends up in online sales. And I guess we could go and buy the highest price feed that you could find and just jack up the price of the meat. I mean, that's one way to do things. But honestly, like what I'd rather do is provide really good meat at a good price, right? Yeah. It doesn't have to be the cheapest thing in the world, but at the same time, it doesn't have to be the most expensive thing in the world. And that's where being able to make our own feed has really started to make a difference here on the ranch because we have seen, even over the couple months that we've been doing this, our feed costs cut in half. Yeah. It's just it's just amazing. Um, we were buying feed before from Dakota Mills, but we had them mix it. We had them make it for us. Um, that There's a cost associated with that. So being able to do it by ourselves makes a big difference. And if you take the feed costs that we're looking at now and compare that to any local feed store or even like tractor supply or bomb guards or wherever you buy your feed it's through the roof yeah. and so we're going to be looking at some of that today but first of all we have to look at one thing that we talked about in the last video when we made pig feed with the artsway mixer and that is the supplement bin and how big of a pain in the butt the lid was uh, you guys think we don't listen, but we do. Uh, and honestly, we, we struggled with this dang lid for the longest time. And now, thanks to you guys, do you remember the, the guy's name? It was, a, it was a lady. Lady. And I just now responded okay. to her. <laughs> I can't remember her name. Well, Jeff responded to you. Uh, we did find the latch that holds the whole thing up. Check that out. An actual letter that just... Look at that. And actually, there's a, there's some rust damage here. you think we would have figured that out. <sighs> okay, you know what? We talk about how we do it. Sometimes the why doesn't really matter. We just figure it out as we go. Okay, so today we're making uh, chicken food. I've got, you may notice I've got this little piece of paper with me, and that's because uh, while Jeff is only 27 year old, years old and has the, 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 the brain power of a, a 60 year old, uh, <laughs> I can't remember anything anymore. So I've actually, uh, we're going to talk about the feed that we're going to mix. And you guys can actually take the, no matter how many chickens you have or how much feed you're, 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 you're making, I'm going to give you the percentages so that you can take that and kind of scale it up or scale it down as as you need. Uh, one of the other comments we got on the pig video was like, yeah, that's all well and good, but I don't need to buy a ton of pig food, right? right? Yeah. So th today we're gonna actually talk about percentages, so then you can do the math, because I'm not gonna do it, <laughs> uh, but you can do the math and you can figure out exactly how much of what you need. Um, a lot of times you see the pig or the chicken food that you're buying at, uh, at the feed stores and there's just a list of stuff in there. But what I wanted to do was figure out what exactly do chickens need to live and survive and make eggs, because okay. this is for laying hens, not for meat chickens. That would be a higher protein. This is for laying hens. And we're aiming right around that 10% protein mark. So uh, according to uh, the veterinarian sciences, uh, chickens require four things, grain, protein, fats, and minerals. So I figure grain we can do, Right. Protein, we'll have to, that comes as part of the grain, but we may, may need to boost it a little bit because who knows what our grain percentages are going to work out to be. Um, fats, we've got that figured out. And of course, mineral, um, we've got figured out as well. So let's start out with the grain. Do you want to join me over at the big bag there, Jeff? This is our bag of grain. So 
in here. <laughs> that was nice. Now your Vanna White moment. Carol Merrill. I'm oh. old. Right? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Carol yeah, <laughs> I'm not quite as old. But there's somebody out there who went, who's Vanna White? Uh, so this is almost a ton. It's 1,850 pounds. And what we have in here is 950 pounds of corn, 550 pounds of wheat, and 350 pounds of barley. So percentage-wise, if you're doing this for yourself, it's 50% corn, 30% wheat, 20% barley. Protein, uh, when we're looking at it that way, uh, corn is about 10% protein, wheat 15%, barley is about 15%. So here you can see the mix, and it looks like they mixed it up for us, but there's no grind happening there, right? Right. Right. So we are actually going to grind this down, make it more palatable for chickens, easier to eat. So then, with that all averaged out, we're sitting at about... Uh, I don't know where we're at for protein because I didn't figure it out just for that bag. But if we add in another supplement, which the chickens are going to need, we're talking about laying hens, so we want them to make eggs for us, so that's where we're going to add in lay pellets. Lay pellets, if I can get the right side up, are a complete balanced nutrition for laying hens. The problem is it, it costs 17 bucks a bag. So if you bought a ton of these, about 720 bucks. This is 16% layer pellets, so it's really high in protein. It has all these other things in it, which we're gonna add anyway, and try to save ourselves a little bit of money. But we are gonna add two bags, so about 100 pounds of lay, uh, lay, lay pellets into this mix um, to give them some of the vitamins and protein, mostly vitamins, that they're gonna need. Then we take a look at the fats. Now, fat comes from right there soy oil this is made from soybeans we're going to use about half of this uh, within this mixture this is the first time we've ever mixed anything wet yeah. into the mixer little little worried about this but we'll see how it comes out um, this uh, we actually have to add to the top of the mixer and we'll get that done probably with a ladder or a crane or a sky lift or something like that <laughs> and then the last thing that we add is our minerals and this is what we really need um, for uh, poultry and for eggs is calcium. So here we have oyster shells. Uh, you would not believe how long it took Jeff to eat all those oysters. <laughs> Do you like oysters? There's, I don't think I've ever had one. Oh my gosh. It's a texture thing. I won't do it. <laughs> I can only imagine. <laughs> so here's what's in it. Here's what's in it. So this is 38% uh, calcium, 39% uh, different type of calcium, I guess. Um, calcium carbonate. Hey, you know what? It's full of calcium. Good deal. Hard shells. <laughs> Hard shells. And that's what we really want to do. So we're going to get started uh, with our brand new supplement adder bin thing. And uh, with the lid that stays up all by itself, look at that, it's like magic. Uh, we are uh, going to get this thing fired up. We're going to add our supplements in first because we do not want them to grind. We want them to be full and whole inside the bin. I'm not really sure about the oyster shells yet, though. We're going to look at those and see what those look like. Because if they're huge, we might have to hit them with yeah, the grinder. They feel pretty coarse through the bag, so okay. we'll see. Yeah, we'll figure that out when we get there. The other thing that we did, and, and Jeff kind of buttoned it up already, but we switched out our screens right so when we did pigs we used a smaller mm -hmm. screen a medium screen yeah. and that was what maybe three half an inch, inch three quarter inch and now we bumped it up we're going to actually do a little i think we're going to do a little bit coarser of a grind but i'm not exactly sure how this is going to come out yeah i don't know how the screens work so no we'll find out and it's all about experimentation so we're not going to hurt anything chickens are going to eat it no matter what i hope and if it turns out to be too chunky we'll just run it back through and yeah. grind it up some more so uh, that's all done. Uh, we're ready to go. We can fire it up and let's uh, throw in some of our stuff. Okay, grinder is up and uh, not the grinder. Just the mixer is running right now. We're going to get the supplements added in first. the lay pellets. Well, that worked. Uh-oh. Keep going. Keep going. You can do it. Yay! Woo! Okay. All right, let's take a look at these uh, oyster shells and see what they look like. That ain't a knife. This is a knife. Oh, those might go in. 
I wonder if the chickens, normally we feed them whole like this. Yeah, put them in a bowl just like that. Yeah, so that is the oyster shells. Let's just pour it in really slow. Kind of heavy, huh? in so now we're going to switch this to the grinder Turn it. yeah no there we go a little bit farther there we go that'll work all right grinder is engaged we can start dumping in grain Which side is that top door on? It's in the front. So we might have to swing this out of the way. And, or if unless we can come up in between these two. All right. Grinder is disconnected. Swing that out of the way. Come in with a ladder, because we got to go up to put in the soy oil. You want to roll Shambo for this, or? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to defer to you. Oh, yeah, thank you. If you could measure out two and a half gallons of that. <laughs> okay, so here's our hatch. And supposedly this is the way that you go about putting anything in here. So we're gonna take this hatch off and then dump it in. Maybe. Oof, it's really dusty up here. Chickens are hungry, hear them? Like, come on, man, feed me. Oh, hi, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Oh, wow, look at that. Made a bind here. Oh, sorry, I'm getting excited about what I'm seeing here. So there's our auger that does all the mixing. Boy, it still ground it pretty dang good. That's actually... I like that. That's better than the pig feed. Yeah, the pig feed was kind of like just that's dust. A, I think that's really nice. That's pretty good. I wonder if it'd be about the same without the screen in there. I don't know. I don't know either. All right. The corn's still a little big, but... It's okay. 
I think it's pretty darn good. Soy oil, which is has some percentage of protein to it also, which I don't remember what it is because I left my cheat sheet down on the ground. We're gonna pour this directly in here and hopefully once we fire up the mixer, it'll get mixed evenly throughout. I've never done this, so I don't have a clue. We're aiming for two and a half gallons, which I'm guessing is right about this wrinkle. Ready? Ready. Ooh, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Best laid plans of mice and men. It's a little windy. Hey, at least it wasn't blowing at you. <laughs> that is a fortunate thing. Oh, where am I? Oh my gosh, I got a long way left to go. Close? A little more? That's pretty pretty close. Yeah, another splash. Another splash. <laughs> yeah, I'll call that good. Right at the wrinkle. That's about half. Two and a half gallons of soy oil. Is that, ooh, look at that. Wing nut just went. I think all of them just flew. Well, I've got two here. You knocked two off. Yeah, where'd they go? Down on the ground. <laughs> Come on, wing nuts. Where'd you go? Yeah, that's not. Do you see them? No, I didn't see which direction he went. I didn't see anything. I just saw things flying. Oh, there's one. Found one. Oh, they're right next to each other. Look at that. What are the chances of that? <laughs> Look at that. You weren't filming that or nothing, man. Oh, man. Found them. <laughs> oh. uh. You okay, cameraman? Yeah, I'm good. You good? <laughs> I think there's like a way this thing goes on, by the way. Are you lined up? Kinda? Maybe? There. There we go. It's all like oily. Soybean oil. Smells good. Does it smell like french fries and hot dogs? It smells like soybeans. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm around soybean, soybeans. You know so exactly much. what they smell like. <laughs> I'm well traveled. Okay. Our dust collector definitely doing his job. It's, uh... I wonder how many pounds you lose to dust. You know, that would be interesting. Put a, something to catch you. Well, even we weigh what we put in, and we weigh what we get out. Yeah. See, see how efficient this whole thing is. Probably not as, as efficient as we <laughs> yeah. think it is. We might not like that measurement. Yeah, no doubt. It's like when you get on the scale after the day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna mix it for a while. And... Yeah, we'll just let it mix for a little bit. We can hang up our auger on the other side. We can put that one away, yeah. Look at you go. Hercules, Hercules. It hurts your knees, hurts your knees. Yeah. <laughs> Still. Got it? Got it. Oh, my way. Pick it up. My way. There we go. A little, no. Right there. I don't know if it really matters. We'll fold you up. Now we'll let it mix for a while. I really don't know how long. A bit. Yep. And it's mixing. Hey, you can see the moisture. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Look at it moving down. Nice. While this is mixing up, let's get uh, somewhere a little quieter. And I can grab my cheat sheet again. And we can see where we're at. Cheat sheet. All right, so with the 50% corn, 30% wheat, 20% barley with 5% protein thrown in, and if you add that up, it adds up to 105%. Yeah, I know. 
Um, <laughs> and then your soybean oil, your oyster shells, everything else in there. Um, it comes out to 11% protein, which is right about where we want it. Um, by the way, I did knock off the 5% off of the wheat and the barley, so I did like 2.5% off on each one of those. So we still were at 100%. Cost-wise, this ends up costing us $337 a ton. Um, like I said, if you were going to get it from um, Tractor Supply, it was like $720 a ton. Uh, your local feed store probably is going to charge different, but I can tell you, if you can mix it yourself, you're saving yourself money. Maybe not time, but money. So, and uh, we've got all the time in the world. Every dollar counts. Exactly. So, we're going to let that mix up for a little bit and uh, enjoy this short musical interlude. You like that? I told you it was going to be a quick interlude. We're all mixed up. Uh, it looks like from color wise, like that, it kind of became like an even color. It's yeah, kind of cool how it did that. And I got to be honest, the more we use it, the more I like it. Really? <laughs> it's great. People say the same thing about you. Huh. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we are, uh, we're not going to mess around with bins or anything. We're going to take this directly over to our chicken feeder, which is a one ton chicken feeder. I don't think this is all going to fit, so we're going to bring the skid steer as a backup uh, in the bag that we just emptied out of. If we have to put any extra back into that, we don't want to put it on the ground or anything like that. So, a uh, quick trip over to the chicken house and the one-ton chicken feeder. There we go. We've got our chicken food. Turkey food, I guess, too, because here's the turkeys. Hi, turkeys. You want some food? Hey, well, they want some food. Come here, turkeys. Try it out, see what you think. Custom made for you. Yeah. They say, give us more. <laughs> A silly handful. So that actually, it actually smells really good, which kind of surprises me. It's not like I want to eat it or anything, but you know, it smells really good. Um, I tasted the last batch, it's your turn. Should I, here. <laughs> no. Tastes like a granola bar or something. Well, that's basically what it is. Yeah. It's not horrible. Okay. Maybe a little milk. <laughs> Might be good. All righty, guys, that's pretty much it for us today. Um, check out the description down below. I'm actually going to put the percentages that we use during this video in this description. I think this is something that if you've got your own birds and you want to make your own food, you can do this. You can buy corn by the bag. You can buy wheat by the bag. You can buy barley. Uh, you can get soybean oil. You can get oyster shells. And, of course, you can get lay pellets. So why not do it yourself, save yourself, a little bit of money and of course there is that thing that's uh i know jeff is a big fan of this but it is it's that satisfaction of of doing something yourself absolutely um being able to say hey we made the chicken food yep. that uh that these guys are eating so i think there's something to that thank you very much sir appreciate it my pleasure uh what do you want to make next 
dinner. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. It's, we're surrounded by dinner. How about turkey? Maybe not. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, be sure to subscribe, follow along as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. The chickens all look happy. A little bit that spilled out. They'll get they'll get to finish up. We're not too worried about it. So, uh, until we see you next time, have a great week. And oh, by the way, really quick, my hat. Head on over to owl-hats.com. Gone Country Hats. The cup bank is going away very soon, and uh, it's going away in stop. We'll see you later, guys. Take it easy.